So once again, here's an unusual Power Player of the Week. I couldn't be that. I'm talking about financially, I suck, but um, <laughs> um, spiritually and emotionally, I'm just, it, it couldn't be better. If I was to die today, I was overpaid in life. This is a story about survival. Mike Tyson, who came from nothing, was heavyweight champion at 20 was knocked out at 23, spent three years in prison for rape, and has lived to talk about it. You're a vegan? Yeah. You're off drugs? Thank God. You're off alcohol? Oh, double thank God. So, have you cleaned up your act? I'm just, I'm living life on life terms. I was the champion of the nation at 14 years old. I was well on my way. For almost a year, Tyson toured the country in a one-man show in which he told his story, the good, the bad, and the very ugly. So after I left prison, I have to admit I was scared. What's the difference between being on stage and being in the ring? Um, you don't have to go to the hospital after the show. <laughs> <laughs> How much money do you think you made in your career? Everyone tells everybody I made three or four hundred million dollars. I made a lot of money. All right. How much of it is left? None. None. How's that possible? I don't care how much money you have. If you don't, if it's art and how you take care of money. If you don't do that, it's just, it's zilch means nothing. Tyson says he's not getting rich off his show. Just enough to support his third wife and seven children and pay the IRS a little of the millions he owes the government. I don't have a glamorous lifestyle or anything. And do you miss that? No, I'm, I'm old, man. Oh, old? What are you, 40s? 46, yeah. What am I? A dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> he has some causes now. He started Mike Tyson Cares, which helps disadvantaged kids with food and shelter and support in school. And he's joined the campaign to get a presidential pardon for Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight champion who was convicted of taking his white girlfriend across state lines. In 1910, black people were not even considered human beings. They really almost still property so um he really deserves a second chance posthumously a second chance or perhaps in tyson's case a fourth or fifth chance looking back he says the person he hurt worst was himself me no there's no doubt about that no doubt about that at all no evander holyfield would say you hurt him too but why well, not i'm sorry i was sorry i did hurt him why did you do that why'd you hurt yourself I didn't understand at the time. He was a wild, crazy kid at the time. I'm not doing it now. I think about my mortality a lot now. I'm um, I'm 46 and I got a two-year-old. What the? F what am I thinking? I'm a former junkie. You know what I mean? I had a bunch of fights and been hit in the head a lot. What the hell am I thinking about? Hell of a life, huh, Christopher? Tyson's tour wrapped up this spring, but you'll get another chance to see it. HBO taped his one-man show to run later this year.